guys, I'm back, and I've got a chat program for you. Now you just go to the um, to the internet address in the description. You just enter it, and you will download the program. Now it's a simple installer, and you can see in my Dropbox there's nothing there. Also make sure that you have Dropbox installed to your computer. Just start up the installer, press extract. Do not change anything. Just press extract. It's fine. Now. Now if you've done that, you can see there's a new folder called chat, and also in the other folder on your computer, there's also a folder called chat. Now, it wasn't there before by the way. Um, now there's a, um, a start.exe in there. Now what you want to do to have at least one person in there is just invite them with a Dropbox account that they also have on their computer. So just press input their email there and it's fine. Now I will do that in just a second, but first I will start it up. Now, if you use username admin, it will go to a special part where you have to enter your password. This password is password by default when you first start it up. You can change this using slash pass. The admin has some special privileges, which I will show in just a second. Just use slash pass to change it. Then just enter password that you want to use. I just enter test now. If you do slash help, you can see you've also got the admin commands. You can pause the video to see them. Now, I will just close this and I will just try to log in with the wrong user, with the wrong password. Now, I do use admin and then I use not the boss. Pretty easy. Now, and as you can see, it says admin unauthorized. Now, so, what that means is you also can't use the admin commands. Now, if I log in with the normal thing, which I, I changed the password to test and it worked. Now, alright. Yep, worked all fine. Now, I added my other computer to the shared folder. Now, that is here, that's my other computer. It has the same name, but that's no problem. Um, so yeah, let's just wait a second. I will just restart this and log in with a normal name. So if you just take any name like the, it will just go to there immediately. No problem. So um, you can send test now. I will go to my other computer and enter test as well. Just a second. I will enter test receive. I've entered it. Just wait for a second for Dropbox to send the file over. And as you can see, it says that's received. Pretty nice if you ask me. Alright, guys, I'm out. Bye.